Hi there. Just doing a bit of exfoliating. Um, when I was a small child, I had this uh, very intriguing habit. Um, whenever my parents let me out from under the stairs into the sunlight, I would immediately run up a drain pipe, you know, and then I'd sit on the roof of the house and you know pick morsels from the guttering and feast upon them. And uh, they they tried everything to stop this, you know. They uh, they would rub margarine on the drain pipe to make it slippery. But uh, unfortunately during the summer a lot of flies would get stuck to the drain pipe and then I would eat the flies. So that didn't work. So they took me to a specialist and he said, um, you know, after prodding me around, your, your, your son is gifted and um, this drain pipe business is a unique talent and it should be nurtured and um, if you try to repress this he could um, quite easily uh, you know turn against you become repressed and uh, work for local authorities so they sent me to a school for gifted children yes all sorts of annoying youngsters there you know uh, ones who are very good at chess you know um, children who can read the Daily Express in about 20 minutes and uh, you know it, it didn't do me any good either you know because I would sit there having a game of chess with a sort of three year old child and um, you know my mind would wander and I'd be straight out the window down the drain pipe back up the drain pipe you know picking leaves and bird carcasses from the roofs. At about the age of 14 this uh, peculiar talent of mine went away and I, I think it's really because I got heavier and the drains couldn't take my weight anymore and one frosty morning I was shunning up a drain pipe to the amazement of my uh, brainy friends when it came apart from the wall and um, myself and the drain crashed down onto the floor and flattened a seven-year-old child prodigy who, who, who may well have gone on to, to win the Nobel Prize we'll never know and he never played the harpsichord again he, uh, last, time, last I heard of him he had got a, a career in marketing and he was responsible for a, an advertising campaign promoting the Staircom it's not just a stair lift it's also a commode I realised that now that I didn't have this talent I, I had to do something to keep me at the school you know you know I quite enjoyed it there not a lot of, lot of pressure uh, the teachers allowed me to smoke uh, play poker and you know have a bit of a session down the local on a Friday so I decided to you know commit acts of onanism whilst I was on the uh, on the roofs you know and uh, you know somehow managed to pass this off as a talent you know I do understand that um, <laughs> the majority of the population entertain themselves in this way you know sometimes whilst uh, you know reading the Daily Express uh, until one day things came to a head if you'll excuse the expression um, I, was, I was at 16 about 16 at that time I was on the roof pleasuring myself for all to see and um, I had actually had uh, some genital piercings done you know and I think um, a jackdaw flew past and he saw something shiny and metallic you know waving around in front of him and, and you know he thought I'll have a bit of that you know being inquisitive take it back to my nest and he dived down and um, you know attacked my groin area I, I was absolutely horrified you know I, I was screaming and, I, and I fell off the roof broke both my legs and I was in hospital for six months the damage to my legs rendered me incontinent and uh, but when I do wee uh, because of the genital piercings um, it shoots out at right angles and I work in marketing <laughs>